I was figuring I'd give you a quick update on the tiny house. Uh, working on a few projects in here. Got a few projects done that I haven't showed you yet. So come on in. I feel kind of like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so the kitchen cabinet is almost done. I still have to do the doors down here. Uh, and the faucet is, although it's hooked up, I haven't got the water on because I haven't got uh, the propane hooked up to this yet, and so it's off. I don't want to turn everything on until I've got everything hooked up. Uh, my fridge actually goes in here, not the trash can, um, and then there'll be a convection oven up here, and then there'll be a shelf going across up here, and the microwave will fit in right there. So I'll have plenty of counter space because the big stuff is all up out of the way. And the shower is now in. I still have to finish the uh, bench down there for the toilet seat and stuff, for the composting toilet. And I have decided that I'm going to put a sliding door on it. So I've got to come up with that and figure out that part of it. Uh, I've got the siding on this, or the car, the car siding, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, paneling up this. I still have to do down the side there and up that section. And I got my half steps onto my steps. So now they are not quite such a reach up to the very bottom one, but they can, you can step right up them. Great for short people. <laughs> and then up here, which is kind of a mess at the moment because this is where I'm working. I am working on my balcony rail. So the uh, uh, new posts are in and I've got my bottom rails down. And I finally got all of my uh, pickets, actually. I mean, let's face it, they're pickets, not really spindles. Uh, got them all made and laid out so I know I have enough of them. My top rail is hanging right there. One end of it was kind of soft, so I put uh, some uh, wood hardener into it, some barathane wood hardener into it, and have let it sit overnight. And so I'm hoping that it'll still be strong enough. If not, I'm going to have to come up with another top rail. But that one goes all the way across here, and then there's another one that goes, butts into this, and will butt into this, and they'll be dovetailed together right here. So, that's what's going on there. Uh, the rocket mass heater is actually dried out now, and I can start putting the plaster on it at any time. Uh, but I'm trying to get this rail done, because then I can take stuff and move it out of the way of the rocket mass heater, so I can work on it and get it all done. But I might actually make it uh, by the time that I go into chemotherapy of having this thing done. I do have to get some trim up here on the sides, but that's small stuff. Trim is small stuff. The bigger projects, like handrails and, and plastering a rocket mass heater, that's, that's a whole other story. But yeah, just wanted to throw a little update at you. And I uh, might get some more footage of this uh, on the tag end of this video. Tag it on to the end of this video. Uh, so that we can so you can see what the uh, rail comes out looking like so anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you next time